It's the mindset. Free your mind. Free your mind. Mindset. Free your mind. Free your mind. Hey, not everything that glitter is gold. Everything that's white is snow. On the mindset, I just start. Let them know. Let them know. Let them know. Oh, words from the wise. I just start. We will never lie. Stand tall, he will never die, will forever shine. I the star, shine like the star in the sky. Some hate, some love. We're back with you live inside of the Africa Forum. This is Running Africa and coming to you uh, from Studio B this morning, meaning that we are live streaming. You know that goes. We are streaming live on IRFM's YouTube channel. We are on, on IRFM's uh, all social media platforms so that you can check us out on Facebook at IRFMJA, Instagram, IRFM underscore JA, Twitter, IRFM underscore JA. PJ is in the house, so you know that we're streaming live. Mr. Wisdom is in the house, so you know we're live. Thank you so much for coming in so early. Uh, 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 Kemar is in the house, so you know we're live. It's a full house. Shamara Preston, of course, uh, in the house, our producer and floor manager this morning. And who do we have there? Jody, Jody and Dawkins at the desk. So it's a full team. And I can see on my screen my brother, Dr. Ras Wayne Rose, research collaborator at the Smithsonian Institute of Natural History board member of the Universal Development of Rastafari Inc., that is IDOR, past president of Rose Healthcare Staffing Services Limited, which is a Maryland-based nursing agency. He's, a tra he's trained in business management, public and oral history creations and presentations, and works closely with indigenous communities in Ethiopia, in Jamaica, in the USA, Kenya, in Ghana, well, in the Af in Africa, the African diaspora, Ras Wayne currently teaches Africana studies at the University of Maryland, Baltimore uh, County, and is an instructor in history at Baltimore City Community and Howard Community County Community Colleges. He also lectures on African diaspora, African American, and United States history, Caribbean cultures, music, and spirituality. Good morning, my brother, Dr. Ras Wayne Rose. How are you doing, sir? Blessed love, blessed love, and give thanks. I first greet all in that I have my name of Karamawi Haile Selassie I, and just giving love to the family. Just a quick correction, I no longer am at the University of Maryland. I am now at Jackson State University. Um, yeah, man. So, but give thanks. Give thanks, my brother. Glad to have you uh, in the place and that we're seeing you live this morning. We're seeing you ahead of you actually coming into Jamaica. Aren't you coming into Jamaica today? Uh, tomorrow. It's give tomorrow. Thanks. Okay. All yes. right. Well, safe travels. And we're going to talk about why you're coming into Jamaica yes, in a little yes, while. Yes. But, but to the meat of the matter. We have, I think it, it might have been two years ago, a year and a half ago that I, I was interviewing you and you just kind of threw in the midst that, listen, we have a 21 day ISIS coming up in, ISIS coming up in 2022 and you're going to be there, you know, and I just kind of left, I, I just kind of left it because, hey, if Ras Wayne says so, then it is what it is. But here we are in 2022 and we're looking forward now to that 21 day ISIS that's about to happen, but to happen in St. Lucia. Give us the background to this. What is it that we are talking about? So give thanks again. And, you know, um, the it's a birthing, if you will, uh, with a recognition that this year, 2022, represents 130 years in the life of Haile Selassie I. Importantly, just in framing it numerologically, it's 13 decades since his birth, 13 representing a very powerful number in the African ethos, way of life, in the African thinking that has been beaten out of us, socialized out of us, mm -hmm. having us fearful of 13 because it's such a powerful number in terms of what it represents for us. So as the 13th decade in the life of Haile Selassie I comes around, um, 
you know, a group of us having completed a retreat at the Mount Kailash Rejuvenation Center in St. Lucia, sat down and thought about the what next, yes. what happens next. And I'm in that group is a young author and publisher, Dr. Bookman, who came into St. Lucia for that retreat, <clears throat> specifically to assist in documenting that experience. And also we had the right honorable priest Kailash, the proprietor of the Mount Kailash Reju Rejuvenation Center, a brother, our beloved brother Bunga Nia, uh, Dr. Jalani Naya, who was also there among others. Yes. Of course, we had even our brother, Prophet Jamar, better known as Chronics in um, popular culture. But coming out of that framing, we said, you know, there was a dawning in that moment, you see, but it was June 24, 2021. That was exactly 13 months before the 23rd of July, 2022. And in that moment, a moment of realization took place. Uh, a aha moment took place that this is appropriate. Exactly 13 months yes. to celebrate the 130 or 13 decades in the life of the man. And we said, this has to be important. Yeah. And it has to be shared with the community so ones could come in and fully participate not in the normal ways i mean 130 13 decades don't come again the 130 year will never 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 reoccur in the life of this movement and the man. Mm. and therefore we thought it's important to bring it in the mountains from whence come with our help the hills yes, yes and to make that a uh, ricochet, the sound of justice ricochet, because it's framed as a justice and healing initiative. Mm -hmm. And wouldn't you know it just, I mean, yesterday, you see more trauma inflicted in the black and brown communities of, yes, all, of, yes, of, of, yes. of the United States. We, but were, it's just a talking, we were just talking it's a to Vance Jomo about that. And um, you yourself there, um, well, you're in St. Lucia now, aren't you? Um, but, well, I am in transit right now. You're in transit right Where are you, Ras Wayne? I am in Miami. There you go, in, in, in transit, in yes. transit, on your way to Jamaica. Yes, uh, yes, yes. But, 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 but what, what a tragedy, what a tragedy in, uh, in, in Buffalo, you know, even as we speak and tells us that the work uh, continues, the struggle mm -hmm. continues. Ras Joma was just talking about the book written by uh, Dr. Martin Luther King right here. In Ocho Rios, the, uh, Dr. Martin Luther King, when he wrote the book, Where Do We Go From Here, KSR Community, he was here in Jamaica. He was in Ocho Rios, just down the road uh, in front of Duns River. And, and it's interesting that today, so many years after, we're still asking that question. Yeah. But uh, so, so that the, the 21 day Isis, this is the, the dates um, obviously very, very significant. Uh, what kind of format will this take? Um, how are you see, how is this going to unfold? Uh, give us uh, some, some details as to timing and so on, dates and so on. Yes, of course. So the dates, we will start on the 21st of July. We initially had proposed uh, the 4th or the 3rd of July into the 23rd, but now we actually are starting on the 21st of July. And in fact, we have extended, not just in 21 days, we want to embrace the right honorable Marcus Garvey's Earth Strong. So we're going from the 21st of July all the way to the 17th of August. And in that period, we'll also encapsulate the emancipation um, uh, Celebration. Timeline. I yes. wanted to say celebration. Well, we celebrate we emancipation. emancipation. We, we celebrate it. I mean, our, our ancestors well, 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 did what well. What I'm saying you know, is, yeah. is, is, is when you're celebrating something that you said was given to you when you shouldn't have lost No, no, we took it. Place. We took it. You know, so I have a problem sometimes yes. with the framing, but I will yes. start. Let us yes, all yes. recognize it and use it in the most meaningful ways. Of course. In the liberation of, of ourselves. As we celebrate. Because as Marcus Garvey did say, right. none but ourselves can, can free both our minds and exactly. our bodies, even exactly. our spirits. Exactly. So uh, the, 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 I'm sorry. So the dates, you were telling us about the dates. Yes. Yeah, so in, in, in the, the, from the 21st to the 28th, I and I will be there and we'll be having multiple spiritual sessions where we're unpacking the justice for ourselves. We're also going to, in the framing of our justice, look at an economic symposium because we don't want to leave this flat and feeling inspired spiritual, but don't have an answer to our economic circumstance, which itself creates these kinds of situations where people can come into your communities and, and slaughter your people. We need to have 
and unpacking, which we're organizing in the framework of a maritime initiative in the same way that the Honorable Marcus Garvey spoke of the Black Star Liner, yes. but to activate it with specialists from among our communities and to empower ourselves now to reach into our pockets and fund our liberation because we have been resistant to that. That's true. And this is where the justice initiative comes, comes into play because for the past pretty much almost a year now, we have been in St. Lucia organizing. We set up a secretariat. We have buy-in from the community even from members of the St. Lucian government, where mm -hmm. people have seen the relevance of not just the narrative, but the work we're doing, because we have physical brick and mortar space where people from Mr. Joe Blow to the prime minister can come inside that space and see an African-centered space, a bookstore, a cultural center, a research area of a special collections unit where people can come in and learn about themselves. Mm -hmm. And then we have been unpacking this in seminars, in poetry slams, in using the creatives, but also using the lecture mm -hmm. spaces to talk to the community, mm -hmm. to counsel with ones who need it, and to, to, to frame this judgment and just this initiative mm -hmm. so it's first justice and healing so we're talking to the families about mm -hmm. what atrocities we have committed against ourselves mm -hmm. and how we now hold ourselves accountable yes before we go to europe and the rest of these vagabonds who have inflicted injury on our people let us be honest about the process mm -hmm. and honest to ourselves what can we can we ride on whistle done. can we can we do both can we well, um we hold already, them so, right hold them accountable but at the same time hold ourselves also um accountable well, in terms of what we're doing to ourselves absolutely and the, the thing is this um as you mentioned both needs to occur but one started before the other and so you, are, you have, while Rastafari have been chanting and Pan-African people in the Rastafari spaces and other spaces have been chanting for reparations, yes? What we have not done, and that chant has been now usurped by actors within government setting up commissions and doing these important things. Mm -hmm. But then they put on this cloak of self-righteousness yes, while they're yes, still yes. Per Per perpetrating injury in our communities. Yes. So we're saying, hold on a second. Yes. Justice means let us look at the beam in our eyes yes. Yes. and remove it. And then we can, I mean, the, the rug will now be clean. Under yes. the rug will be clean. So when we approach these hypocrites and parasites, we can say with a clear conscience, step up or step aside, because mm -hmm. we will fund our own liberation mm -hmm. from there forward, because we'll be honest with ourselves mm -hmm. and we'll be honest with our children and our, and our posterity. So mm -hmm. we need to do these things. And of this course. is why yes. the Justice and Healing Initiative has been launched. So all been roads, launched. So all roads lead to saint lucia yes. uh in in a few weeks time we're talking looking at uh end of july july 21 um into august 17 18. all roads lead to saint lucia this is where pan-african rastafari cultural african-centered um people of like minds will be gathered um this year to yes. to look at ourselves to celebrate ourselves to observe uh, important dates, but also to have a conversation um, on top of uh, the action that is already underway in St. Lucia, talking about justice and healing. Um, what will the entire period look like in terms of what will happen? Um, do we have fora? Do we have... Um, Isis, um, chanting, what kind of a program are we looking at for those, uh, uh, what's it, three weeks? Yes, well, it's actually four. Four weeks. It seals up in four weeks strong. So, mm -hmm. in, so we'll have Isis. We're going to start with the Isis because we're right on the crust of the celebration of the 13 decades in the mm -hmm. life of the man. So we're going, we're going to call for our justice mm -hmm. from ourselves and we're going to bring that energy of Africa with the drums, the Nyabingi drums. Mm -hmm. And we are going to incorporate our Bobo Shanti family with the Nyabingi family, with the Nunalayan family, with the Pan-African family. And we are all calling for African righteous people. So I'm yeah. saying to my Jamaican family also, the Nyabingi, Bobo Shanti, and Nunalayand, yes. 12 tribes of Israel, Orthodox, I mean, Ethiopian World Federation, let us come. If, you, if everyone can come send a delegation, it's important. Yes. And we're not begging for it. 
We're not trying to remove people's plans and their organizations. We're simply saying mm -hmm. it has never occurred before 13 decades. Yeah. And if we can have a unified space and a unison in terms of the irate of the work and the energy and the mission, mm -hmm. we can accomplish the things that allowed us to build Kemet, mm -hmm. allowed us to build the civilizations of the past. Mm -hmm. And what we have not done, we have not exercised and activated that level of energy because it has not occurred before in mm -hmm. terms of 30 decades. And as, as, the, as the African wisdom um, goes, the when the elders call the family together to, to, to have a meal together, it's not because we don't all have meals at our homes. Mm -hmm. It is because this is a moment for us to sit down and strategize as to what the next step will be. So call, the calling of the family together right now is a matter of strategy, is a matter of next step, is a matter of how do we, and this is what I'm getting from you, um, against the backdrop of something that's already underway, so that, um, and you talk about justice and healing, underway there in St. Lucia. Once again, we're saying all roads are leading to St. Lucia, uh, July 21 to August 17. Uh, and, 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 and what a blessing that is, I think, for us as uh, African people to come together in this way in a Caribbean country. Usually when we're saying all roads lead to somewhere, when we are moving together as African people, it is usually to the continent of Africa. Right, so this is the African diaspora, and we're moving to St. Lucia, which is closer for so many of us in the Caribbean to be a part of. So we invite you to be a part of that uh, uh, pilgrimage, if you wish, that caravan, if you wish. But we're heading to St. Lucia for July 21 to August uh, 19. We're going to take a quick break. Don't go anywhere. We'll stay with us, Ross Wayne. A quick break, and I'll be right back. I believe in a Jamaica. No guns. I be I call you Raskamar this one. I see you getting upset with me now. I apologize, my brother. Um, my bad. Last week, we just took that, that, that time signal late. So I apologize on behalf of, of the team who have been saying to me, go time signal, go time signal. But, but um, in the last few minutes that we have... Um, Last Wayne, um, for persons who want to be a part of this, what kind of, and I can, I can already hear our listeners, you know, saying, yeah, I'm, I'm going to go, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be part of this um, journey into St. Lucia, um, July into August. What, 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 what other place to be than somewhere where we're looking at, as you keep saying, this is not going to happen again. This is what it is. Um, how do we uh, how do persons become part of this? How can they um, get to St. Lucia? What kind of accommodations do you think um, might be available in terms of how people can tap into that? What's the air travel like, et cetera? How, how do people get there? So in the first increment then perhaps to unpack is that we have a website that we're updating as information and fi are finalized. Mm -hmm. It's justiceandhealing.com, very easy. Justiceandhealing.com. Mm -hmm. And we'll, we're unpacking and establishing all the protocols on that website, which will be updated at the end of this month, just from where it currently sits. Right. So we'll have right. accommodations, we'll have uh, restrictions, in, entrance, entrance information, so ones will know exactly what is required of them to enter. Mm -hmm. Importantly, though, at the Mount Kailash Rejuvenation Center, we're, we're opening up space this is an exclusive COVID certified resort. That Beautiful. Is for rejuvenation. Beautiful. We're opening up spaces mm -hmm. for members of the family, the workers, the people who have been staying in the vineyard of goodness. People like, could I dare say, my beloved Queen Kabu. And Look at that. Of that. Look at that. Character who have been I'm looking working forward. Yeah. constantly. So yeah. we're saying, come, we will accommodate you. 
in that space. Thank you so much. About 40 people. Yes. Yes, but we, we're asking elders to come, we're asking yes. priests to come, we're asking people who have their own framing, the farmers, the priests, the physician, everyone can mm -hmm. come mm -hmm. and have that opportunity mm -hmm. to help us rise the gods from within us mm -hmm. because we are gods in creation. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. and we have forgotten what it means to be children mm -hmm. of the most time. Oh, As wow. Psalms 86 verse, I mean 82 verse 6 speaks to, I have said ye are gods. We have forgotten that because we've been yes. socialized away from that. Yes. So we want God to arise in us and through us so that we can administer the work of justice and healing for ourselves, our family, and our posterity. And then in that same reality, call for the judgment on the wicked. Because we've yes. been calling for it in our, with our musicians and others in the prayer saying, God of mercy. But no. We will activate it intentionally in a collective. We will test that. We will prove it if we get the people together. If not, we yeah. will wallow in another thousand years of this misery. If that's what people want, yeah. if that's what they want for their children, God forbid. God forbid. I forbid. And, and I hear you saying this is a test also, and I, and I understand the test um, uh, for us as a nation, for us as a people uh, to answer this call. I know you're coming in tomorrow, and when you come in, we hope that um, you'll be able to make it to the studio. I hope you're in Jamaica long enough to make it in the studio so that we can open the phone lines and have our listeners call in and talk to you directly about some of these plans. If not, we'll continue the conversation, though, as we look ahead to July, July uh, 21 to August 19, St. Lucia is the meeting place. Yeah. All roads uh, leading to St. Lucia. Uh, African people, this is where we're gathering. We yes. have our own business to take care of, and we're doing that in St. Lucia, July 21 to August 19. Queen yes. Cowboy, I know you're wrapping up, yes. but I just want the Caribbean family to remember that leadership has always resided in us for exactly. our people. Exactly. We were extracted for a reason. Yes, we lament the extraction. Yes. But if you look at all the movements that have revolutionized our contemporary reality, you hear the name of our people, wherever we have been from, the islands. This is why it's important, again, to re-energize from this space. So when we come into the continent, we come in not as people just being an anomaly in the space, yes? But people that plan to execute. We're not there so our family can sympathize with us. We're there to lead and to assist in the leadership with as, our family who are there. As we have always I want done. to also just say the honorable right, the right honorable priest Kailash is on his way to Jamaica today. And that is the partnership that we've had from St. Lucia along with the Mount Kailash Rejuvenation Center, the space, the people, the energy. And we're coming into Jamaica to talk about reclaiming our health, which is part of our healing, our restorative processes. So we have to have a broad spectrum of conversations going to take place. Yes. And it's all tied into justice and healing for ourselves. And, and this is a theme. This is a theme on which we're heading to St. Lucia, July 21 to August 19 this year. Um, get yourselves ready. We don't need a visa. And that's that exhort that already. We don't need a vaccines. So that exhort that already. So we're good. St. Lucia, yes, July 21 yes, to August 19. Thank you so much, my brother. That's way. Listen, love, honor of Queen Cabo. Be yes, well. Sir. Stay well. Keep doing the work. Looking forward to seeing you on I and I arrival in Jamaica. Blessed love, Jamaica. Right, we'll see you Family. shortly. And your listening audience. All right. Thank you so much uh, to Ras Wayne there on his way to Jamaica. And once again, all roads are leading to St. Lucia, July 21. that subscribe button. See you on the next video. I guess start the mindset. Smash that subscribe button. See you on the next video. I guess start the mindset.